Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be talking about multiplication of polynomial fractions. So just taking you back, before we go into our example, uh, let's say you've got a fraction 1 over 2 times 6 over 7. So what you simply do is you multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator such that you have 1 times 6 over 2 times 7 which will give you 6 over 14, which if you uh, reduce it to its simplest terms would be 3 over 7. Right, so this is how you multiply fractions. And it is the same case as yeah, that you should multiply fractions the same way, whereby you're saying this term 2x minus 1 multiplied by 4, 4 multiplied by x minus 2. So it would be 4 multiplied by 2x minus 1 over 4x minus 2. But if you look carefully, before you even went to multiply, you could have cancelled the 2 because you can cancel across a multiplication, right? So for illustrative purposes, I'll cancel it here, right? Like that. So you have 2x minus 1 over x minus 2. So that would be your reduced form because we can't reduce it any further, any further than this, right? So this would be your result. Or you could have simply just cancelled out because there's a multiplication. So you can cancel across uh, a multiplication sign. Right, let's do another question. Right, this was 1, 2, 2x, two x squared minus 4 over x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 6 over x plus 2. Right, so we have a fraction here where we have uh, two fractions multiplying each other. So the first and foremost thing, because it's multiplication, we can cancel across the sign, we're saying that check to see if there are any common factors, right? Are there any common factors? Now, let's see. So 2x, right? But we know that x squared minus 4 is the same as saying x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 because of difference of two squares. So we're going to write it that way, x plus 2, x minus 2. So this is representing the x squared minus 4 due to difference of two squares, divided by x plus 3 multiplied by, there's a common factor right there, so it's going to be 2 multiplied by x plus 3 over x plus 2. Now, just by inspection, you can see that this x plus 2 cancels with that one, the x plus 3 cancels with that one, such that the remaining is 2 times 2, which is 4x, and that x minus 2. This would be your final answer. So it's always important by inspection to see if there are any common factors that you can cancel out, like the x plus 3 and x plus 3 right there, so that you simplify it to its simplest form. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.